Top of the hill is where I did it at Last niggas round, boy, they tell you that I've been with that 40 on my waist, that'll knock a nigga on his back I'm from the turf, nigga, what brat? Them niggas hate the fact that I be ripping Inside of the section where my motherfuckers love at Where we pop a fat ass beat and we toss the track Pants paper on my waistline Look at my turf off a of metal rock and sky high Home with a drive by when young niggas lose lives I'ma take yours or lose mine, I'll go home for the wrong time I'ma show you how I do mine I'm three fingers up for my woo sign Yeah, you already know The more pussy niggas already know Yeah, you already know Try me, I let it go Them pussy niggas already know Yeah, they already know Yeah, they already know Them pussy niggas already know Hello world, my kings and queens, it's another beautiful day above ground, we got 24 hours in a day, how we utilize that 24 hours, how productive we are in that 24 hours, we determine how successful we are, God gave us all one thing in common, I don't care what race you are, what gender you are, Time. We all have 24 hours in a day. Spin it wisely. We promote nothing but positivity on this channel. These stories that I share, I hope to inform, educate, and empower the next generations to come. It is my hopes that they might be able to avoid the same pitfalls, mistakes, and stumbling blocks that I didn't. My name is Onar J. Gangster Boy Barbie, born in San Diego, California, raised in the community of Skyline. I began being a representative of my community by the age of six. I did things such as write ESP on the wall from the school to the apartment complex. I also fought other kids that came to our apartment complex for entertainment. And when the guys was older, I would mess with them until uh, they did anything. And my homies would tear their ass up for my entertainment. I began going to jail by the age of 12. By 13, I did my first bid. Before I get started on the next story, if you like this story, if you like the content, available on Amazon, Five Star General, written by me, packed with stories, back to back, also available from my homeboys on Amazon. If you like my stories, if you think they're good, theirs is just as good, if not better. If this is your first time joining me on this channel, if you like the content, hit that like button, share, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can get the content just as soon as it comes out. Thank you, God. With that being said, let's get off into it. The year is 1993. Back in juvenile hall for stealing cars. This time, all the staff remember me from the last time. I tore that motherfucker up. So now this time, they expedite me to my unit. The staff is coming by uh, my cell while I'm there because they put it. They put your your name. They stick it on your door. So the staff is seeing my name and they, hey, what's up, Mr. Barbie? Hey, you back? What the whoop? You know what I'm saying? It's all good. I go to 900. Immediately, they make me a porter. Go from 900 to 100. They make me a porter in 100. 100, they too young, so they send me back to 900. From 900, I go to 200. Same drill. I'm at 200. Oh, it's lovely. 
there's girls there. You know what I'm saying? That's right next door. Um, and then you got GRF. So it's 200, 400, then GRF. 200 is the guys, 400 is the girls. GRF is the girls as well. Um, 400 and 200 is connected, but they put a wall across it during the day to separate the two. This part of the unit is called the annex. At night, the police pull that wall across, they pull it all the way back so that they can walk freely and do count. If you was in the annex, then you was having a time of your life because you was able to correspond with a female all night, send kites, um, look at private parts, and have a good time. Um, I was in the annex. I had a beautiful time. My relative little soup was over there. He called me over there and got me in there. And uh, yeah, <laughs> we had a beautiful time. So anyway, we go back to camp. This time in camp, I'm in camp of one. The last time I was there, I was in round two. So now I'm in camp of one. Camp of one is next door to camp of two. Um, the highest, the highest level is Rile 1. So it's Rile 1, Kempo 1, then Rile 2. Kempo 2 is a 30-day stop program. Anybody can be in that unit. Um, Kempo 1, it works in the kitchen. It does all the preparing the food, cooks the food, and it also um, serves the food. Camp One is full of homies, my homies from my gang, from my turf. Um, and we gang man, you know what I'm saying? You know, to, to, to help time go by in jail, the best thing to do is to gang bang if you ain't got, you know, some females or something. So, we ain't got females, we gang bang. When I tell you, if you got kids in jail, and your kids is in jail, and it's enemies serving them their food, trust me when I tell you, they are getting served a raw deal. We did things that you can't even imagine. And some things you probably can't imagine. So, me, I would, I, if, you know, I was gangbanging. I was, I like to gangbang on rips. It happened to be an Oceanside rip, um, taller than me, a little bigger than me. He was in round one, so uh, you know he acted like he was tough. So because of that, he aroused my interest. So what I did was, <clears throat> one day he come through chat. We was having beats. I slid them beets in between his cake. So the beet juice is coming all down his all down the cake looking like strawberry, cherry juice or something like that. Boy, he, he happy, he jolly as a J cat. On his way to the table, you see him sit down. He ain't even tripping off nobody else's cake. I ain't got strawberry. He know his cake does. You know what I'm saying? And you see, too, he just all into his food. You know what I'm saying? He eat his food or whatever. You know what I'm saying? He get down to that cake. He ready to dive in. Soon as he put that thing in there, took a mouthful, he spit that shit out, flipped the tray over, and immediately looked back at me. And I did that. Fuck you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> from that point on. When I work the chat hall, I don't give a damn if I was serving food or not. He can see me in the back spraying down dishes. He didn't get no food. And I'm talking about many be days where I work like three days straight. And every time he come through there, he keep it moving. Lucky for him, they did give us snacks at night, which could be an apple, orange, and uh, sometimes a peanut butter and jelly sandwich <laughs> with a cookie. So, you know, he did get fed, but not from the child hall. And that food, we couldn't mess with that food because, uh, you know, we, you know, we, we couldn't find, we couldn't know who, who got it. So we don't tell you, can't touch that food. But the food that we know, who we were serving it to, raw deal. Raw deal. Straight up. 
So anyway, <clears throat> the rip dude from Oceanside, he tired of starving. He ready to come get that fade. He get a white hat. A white hat, they have extra privileges. They're able to move around the camp, you know what I'm saying, freely. And, you know, kind of like you can say, hey, man, uh, I'm going to take him out. He want to get some fresh air. And you can go for a walk with the white hat. That's what he did. He ended up coming over to my building, my door. My homeboy, Nori, from Ophir Park. I love him. You know what I'm saying? It's my rider. Straight up and down gangster. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he come out. He's he's our white hat. He come and get me. Hey, hey, G boy. Oh boy, want to get in? You know what I'm saying? The smile on his face. That's, that's when you know it's good. You know what I'm saying? It's getting good when he got that smile on his face. So anyway, all right. Throw the shoes on, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Push outside. Get outside. We were on the basketball court. Now the basketball court, man. Is the the thing about that, man? You sh if. <laughs> It feels like it's about as long as a football field. So anyway, we get out there and square off, you know what I'm saying? And instead of me just playing defense, I went in on the offense. When I went in on the offense, because I'm trying to, I'm trying to like hurry up and get up inside, like Mike Tyson, you know what I'm saying? So I can catch him with one or two, right? To no avail. He's able to move back. And he moves back, and he's and he and he and he and he's catching me while he's moving back. So I had to pull back, got to regroup. Now I'm, I'm you know, I'm kind of like, damn, what am I gonna do? You know what I'm saying? I ain't never been in this position before. This is the first time I've had a fade with a dude so tall and his reach is so long, and he has so much area to run around and play in. Finally, I said, okay, well, I'm just about to come with these haymakers. So, boom, boom, I catch him. Pew, he fall, he, he flies way across the room. I run over there to get on top of him. By the time I get over there, this dude, he's standing back up. The white hat's breaking it up. We have been out there playing around for a little minute now. So, you know, it's about getting away with the crime. I did not like that fade. Do I think I lost? No. Do I think I won? No. Do I like breaking even? No. But I did learn from it, trust me. And I do not fight the tall people the same way that I used to. And the way that I fight them now, to me, I feel like it's better. Anyway. <clears throat> my little relative, Gino Lunatic Langston, him and my grandma was coming up there to visit. I say, blood, bring up some pot, nigga. We need something to smoke. He about 11 years old at the time. Maybe maybe 12. He said, okay. They come up there, bring the pot. Bring weed and a lighter. No zags. So we have to use Bible paper or um, toilet tissue roll paper. Not the toilet tissue itself, but the, the paper that come around the toilet tissue to hold it together. Now... We're trying to figure out a good time to smoke it. We want to go on a hike. So all of us get together. We say, okay, blood, uh, get at the staff uh, and, and tell him we want to go on a hike, right? We find a staff to do it. We go, we go on a hike. Now, when we're leaving, we decide that we want to do it on the way back to the dorm. Not, not, not from the dorm to the hike, but uh, from there back to the dorm. He's out in front. We're in back. The wind we thought was going, you know what I'm saying, the way we smoked the way it won't go towards him. Man, it went towards him. He pushed to the back. Where well, I smell weed? Where is it at? Who got the pot? Who the who? Alright, alright, then what we gonna do? Everybody, we're smelling fingers. We're smelling fingers. Don't nobody go nowhere. Who the who? <laughs> and so while he doing that, they both it's like in the back of the crowd. He hearing Dave Bo, he from Five Nine Brams. Dave Bo stick his hand in his ass. I'm to my, I don't know how far he went up inside his ass or none of that. All I know is he said he said he, he I seen him digging his ass. And he pushed to the cop. And the cop said, oh, smell the fingers, give me a hand. Dave Bo was the first one. He said, here. 
my god! Oh shit! <laughs> Everybody get back to the building ASAP right now. But if we push back to the building, it's gonna take us about 20 minutes to get back. By the time we get back, um, I don't know what happened. I don't know. I didn't get in no trouble, and uh, I don't know what happened with Dave Bowen now. But I know uh, it was funny in the motherfucker to me. You know what I'm saying? The way the way he was driven, and the way he, hey, he didn't smell my fingers, and he didn't smell nobody else's fingers. So good looking out, Dave Bow. You know what I'm saying? We got away with the crime. With that being said, make sure you like, subscribe, comment. And hit that notification bell so you can get the content as soon as it come out. Woo! Peace. Before I get out of here, for my real ones, for my real ones that's locked behind them bangs with them uh, space age states, for my little homeboys that's in the county looking at space age states. We praying for you. With all my real ones that's on the blocks, that's on the streets. Check what I'm saying. The house divided against itself can't stand. The devil been pushing the line too long. On our infrastructure. It's time to let God back in. Let that love come back in. Bloods, brims, and brews. We one family. A house divided against itself can't stand. I love you. God love you. With that, don't forget to subscribe. Like, comment, share, and hit that notification bell. So as soon as the product come out, you can get the content. Don't forget to buy this. Available on Amazon. Five Star General. Written by me. Written by the homeboys. If you like these stories, trust me when I tell you, theirs is just as good, if not better. Y'all stay up, stay safe. Stay real to the game. Cam gonna be real to you. With that, we out. Peace. Yeah. They say I'm confrontational. I want peace, just not at the cost of my silence. Speak All up. Through the hood, I keep hearing people saying I'm supposed to die tonight. They can't destroy what they ain't built in the first place. So I'm finna ride this ride. I went from a truth seeker to truth speaker Chew through the booth, your Bluetooth and your cool speakers yeah. Run up in here, I cut an ear, I'm too Peter I bucket fear, I chuck a spear like Lou Peter They love it here, I hate it here They murder babies and pervert the children and make it here It's getting crazy, everybody claiming they gangsta here And everybody feel it, but nobody is saying here This card over money, so I say what I want, dawg yeah. Your favorite rapper don't need too afraid to be broke, dawg You lose your career pissing in folk uh -huh. But you can call black women hoes and kill all the black men that you won't go And I don't care if you hate that, I can take that I can take But that. stop claiming you real knowing you hate that The sad thing is how fast you could diss a black queen And turn around and walk on eggshells for a drag queen Bizzle, this what you wanted? I never came for the smoke But if you gotta go down, then let's get it poppin' And see, that really ain't what I want if you gotta go down, then let's get it you can't muzzle me, dog. I say what I want And if it gotta go down, then let's get it poppin' I really love peace, but I'm ready for the war So if it gotta go down, then let's get it poppin' World full of fake news, nothing real about it uh, Put their agenda in the middle and just build around it You don't use your own brain, they gon' flip the whole thing And trick you with a headline to tell you how to feel about it Call a man a racist, you'll take what he said racially Call him homophobic, you'll take what he said hatefully They label it hate, you can't even disagree tastefully To shake the label, you switch sides, it's mind slavery These people are evil, don't eat what the media feeding you Deceitful and wicked